Hello and welcome to Cornwall Car Care. So what have we got this week? Well, the beginning of this week, we have a BMW 520D brand new. So this is in for my new car protection package. Customer upgraded to wheels off detail. On this service, the wheels stay on and we ceramic coat the wheel faces, but the customer has upgraded to wheels off. Um, this one's having a single stage machine polish. Again, like the Mercedes, it's very, very tidy. Um, I'm not even gonna do, it's that tidy, I'm not even gonna do a walk around on it. It's just, it's pointless, there's nothing to see. So yeah, so we're gonna do Geon polish um, for the single stage. It's then gonna be ceramic coated with Geon infinite coatings. Uh, wheel coating, glass coating, there is no trim on this thing at all. It's all gloss black, which is nice. Uh, leather coating, calipers, there's a bit of trim on the front wheel arch, but most of it's carpet. Yeah, so hopefully on this one, it's just gonna be plain sailing. Get this one done. Uh, I'm gonna pull my finger out a little bit because I think I've got another one coming in on Wednesday. So yeah, I'm, my aim today is to get the polishing complete, the ceramic coating down, and hopefully the wheel coating as well. And then tomorrow will leave me interior and glass. That's the plan. Doesn't normally go to plan here, but that's the plan. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into this one. Roll some music. Let's go. Well, pulled my finger out on that one. That's the polishing complete. So that's had a single stage machine polish with the roots, yellow medium pad and geond polish, which was absolutely perfect for this combination. So that has all been done. I'm now gonna go and have some food, have my lunch, after lunch, we'll start the wipe downs on the paintwork. And then while that's doing its thing, we'll get the wheels coated. So yeah, as I said earlier, I wanna get, if I can, this coated today and the wheels coated today. So if I can do that, I'm gonna be a happy man. Right, let's go and have some lunch.
as you would have seen just then, microfiber cutting pad and Gion polish on the glass just cleans everything off ready for Gion view to go down. So now that is all the polishing complete. Uh, I'm going to do my spice hacker wipe down, Gion prep wipe down, then get on with the wheels, then get on with the coating. I've set myself a target today. So uh, yeah, pulling my finger out and getting this one done. We'll catch back when we're on the wheels, I think. We'll show a little bit of Spice Hecker 7010. First wipe down before G on prep. Now, you want to put this on wet, but this flashes very quick but you also want to remove it wet as well because that lifts all the, the polishing oils and everything we don't want there, lifts it to the surface and then take it off with the second cloth. But yeah, if you put it on, dries, and then try and wipe it with your second cloth, you're defeating the object. So yeah, so it's got to be put on relatively wet and then buff it off while it's still wet. So uh, yeah. to the front. Makes it a little bit tricky when, uh, what kind of temperature are we at at the moment? Uh, 24 degrees in here at the moment, and the humidity is 62. So I'm getting the humidity down to 60, 55, 60 if I can, uh, then that'll be ready for the coating to be applied, the right conditions for the coating to be applied. So uh, yeah, we'll go around, we'll do a bit more spice hacker. Geon prep wipe down, you don't need to see a Geon prep wipe down, it's exactly the same as this. Um, and yeah, we'll come back on the wheels. So paintwork is now ready for coatings. But first of all, I wanna get the wheels done. That's all been wiped down with spice hacker and Geon prep. The wheels have been wiped down with Spice Hacker and Gion Prep. And the wheels are going to have Gion Infinite Base Type 2 for the protection on these. Start now. I'll just do one wheel application. Again, you don't need to see me doing all the wheels. But the nice thing about this coating is it has 10, 15 minute wipe off time. So I can get the whole back of the wheel done, wipe it off and then the whole front of the wheel done and wipe it off instead of doing a little bit, taking it off, a little bit, taking it off. Yeah, just do it all in one. And then the calipers are going to have the same infinite base type too as well. But that's going to be tomorrow's job, calipers and arches. There we go, we do that. We remove it, flip it over, do the same, do the rest. And then they'll go back on tomorrow once the calipers and arches are done. Well, that is the wheels finished. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it's making me fingers hurt, that was. Getting in all the little spokes. Uh, so yeah, the wheels are now done. They're going to go. Well, they're going to be infrared cured after I've got the coating on the on this one. 
But yeah, that is what is next. Paint coating. I love this part. Absolutely love it. And of course, woo, Geon Infinite Base Type 1 for this one. Really quick coating to use. Small sections, put it on, take it off. Next section, put it on, take it off. Right, let's do it. I've got everything set up here. I've got my bald wipes, my soft wipes. Give the coat in a good shake. Obviously you can still see this is fully wrapped. That's not gonna happen. Get the screwdriver. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll run some footage of me applying it. But most of you, if you've seen my videos, you'd have seen me apply this. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start on the roof, get that knocked out first, over the top, and then we'll work our way around the rest of it. This is such a nice coating to use. <laughs> Right, applicator. Unit is at the perfect temperature. So what have we got? 61 humidity and 24 degrees in here. So perfect conditions for this one. Right, we don't need these. Get them out of the way. Yeah, so we'll run some footage. And then, yeah, this, this was my target today, was to get the wheels done, the machine polishing done, and the coating on. We'll see if we've got any time left at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, so that leaves brake calipers, wheel arch liners, interior, glass, to do tomorrow, and engine bay tomorrow. So, but we'll see what time we've got after. And if I've got time today, I'll do another thing, but yeah, let's run some footage. Music on! Tuesday morning, we're straight onto the glass on this one. So we're gonna get Geon Cleanse down, leave it 15 minutes, remove it, Geon Repel, leave it 15 minutes, Geon Repel, leave it 15 minutes, remove. So yeah, we're gonna get straight onto this.
So while I'm waiting for the glass for its 15 minutes, what have we got left on there? Uh, another five minutes uh, before I've got to put the second coat on Geom Repel. Uh, so we're going to do wheel arch, plastics and calipers. Excuse me. Pardon me, that's Red Bull that is. So for the calipers, Geon Infinite. These have already been wiped down with Geon Prep. Set myself more targets today. So, uh, yeah. We'll see if I can hit them today like I did yeah, like I did yesterday. Sorted. I'm not gonna wipe that off because I want that to uh, be as thick as I can on there. Yeah, so Geon trim for the plastics. This will mean cleaning these. This will make these cleaning. This will make these a lot easier to clean. There we go. Sorted, well that is that side done. Uh, again, I'm gonna leave that on as thick as I can because it gets absolutely pounded on the road. So yeah, the better, oh, the, the, the thicker I can put that on, obviously that, the better that's gonna last. So uh, yeah, that's this side done. Let's go and get the other three corners. Woo! And then we'll come back with the glass or putting the wheels on or doing something. I don't know if you can see that fly. That has been annoying me for the past three days. Oh, bloody thing. What are you doing? Christ. Oh, that was a good save. So I'm gonna leave that tire dressing. Ugh. I'm gonna leave that on until last thing today. I wanna let that soak into the tire and uh, penetrate yeah, deep into it and then we'll remove any excess later on before I go home. So, ooh, what we... Right, I've got another five minutes and the glass is ready to come off. Calipers and arches are done. Talk the wheels when it goes back on the floor. 
So we think we're gonna get onto the engine bay next. Uh, that's gonna have Geom Preserve for under there. Yeah, so we'll set up the camera and we'll get on with the engine bay. Woohoo! Right, well I've got the door open because I want this fly to go away. I've had the wheels rested up against the door so I couldn't open the door but now the wheels are back on. Get this fly out of here. He's been annoying me for days. So yeah, get rid of that. So, engine bay. Gion Preserve. Really nice, easy product again to use. Like with all the Gion range. Couple of spritz. And we'll start on the engine cover. Nice little carbon touches on there, that's quite nice. Probably should have done this first. And now I'm trying to lean over without touching the body. Twenty twenty three BMW five twenty D completed. Yeah, we've gained some gloss in this one. Being brand new and the paintwork was almost flawless, and that's a bit of a rarity nowadays for new vehicles. Don't normally get them in like that, and this has been driven around for a little while as well. Uh, it's been booked in for yeah quite a while. Uh, just trying to fit everybody in at the moment. But yeah, added a ton of gloss to this thing. And now obviously it's all fully protected. So Gion Infinite Base Type 1. Wheels have been removed, coated inside and out with Gion Infinite Base Type 2. Glass has been ceramic coated, the leather. Uh, we've got Gion Preserve under the bonnet. Yeah, just, wow, just lifted it so much. It looked great before, but it looks even better now. Yeah, but yeah, it's been really enjoyable working on a new vehicle. There's been no rushing around, uh, no dust everywhere from a single stage. It's, yeah, it's been really, really nice. So yeah, we're not gonna do too much talking because it's, it's brand new. It's brand new. But yep, yeah, added lots and lots of gloss. So I think we're gonna get straight into the afters on this one. So 2023 BMW 520D completed, which has been deionized. Let's roll some afters. 